Hello and welcome everyone to Little Squid League 44. I am Topic. I'm joined by AMAC as we are getting started with our top cut. AMAC, how are you feeling today? Pretty good, pretty good. I've got absolutely no idea who these teams are, but as we get along, there will be, like, I will see them. I will see them, I will get to know them, and I will know who plays good and who also plays slightly good but maybe slightly less good because they get beaten you know yep that's just that's just the nature of competition and speaking of these teams we have evolution versus clownfish in our first match to get us started for the day is going to be zones mako mart any thoughts on this one that is an absolutely classic map mode i've always loved zones and mako mart you got the plus shaped zone in that and yeah but there's it's a uh, it's kind of a small map when you think about it. There's, there is you do have a quite a big sort of spawn region, but then there's there's the mainly mids and those two little flanks. So it is quite nice to have your backline position on the enemy team stack. And we're going in now. We've got uh some very we've got some pretty decent comps on these teams. We've got a lot of weapons. That are like not very. I don't know how to describe them. Yeah, uh, I think you say not very seen. As on the side of Clownfish, there is a Custom Junior and a Forge Splatter Shop Pro, two weapons that aren't very seen often. And on the side of Evolution, you have a Splat Roller, a more meta-ish comp with the with the Splash, with the Roller, with the Dualies, and Explo, which is again really is really good on zones in general since it is a huge painter. And so far, Evolution is doing their thing, getting a quick hold, getting it down to seventy in the first 30 seconds well yeah they managed to just get everyone in and they're now they've now got a hold on the zone and they're not letting they're not letting clownfish get into it however one of them does get picked off however they do get a trade both teams are two down it doesn't look like there's going to be any change here now clownfish are two down again and it looks like it's just going to be clownfish are just going to get locked out for most of this game unless they can somehow manage to make a massive comeback i mean they have the, the the beginnings of it with the cooler being popped so evolution is quickly shutting that down there's another blue bomb coming out for a clownfish but that might be a second too late as evolution will hold on in a pretty or no in a very dominant game one not allowing clownfish to even take control of the zone at all well the thing is they locked clownfish out quite early so that means, and the thing is, they didn't really, they got clownfish into a big stagger. So that means they couldn't really do that. That means clownfish couldn't really do much because they weren't really getting out of that stagger in the game. And they just kept, sometimes they just kept sort of running in and that allowed them to lock them out further. Mm -hmm. Which means they, which, which means they kind of just had a pretty one-sided game right there. Yeah, and to add on to that, with Clownfish, they did have a double Booyah Bomb comp that really could have worked if they managed to space out or use those Booyah Bombs at the same time. But as we saw as the game went on, they really only used one at a time, which allowed Evolution to quickly paint it up because Evolution's comp was very, very paint heavy, very, very paint efficient, I should say. It painted up any attempted pushes in by the Booyah Bomb or by Clownfish as a whole. But let's see if Clownfish can respond to that and make some changes as we go to our next game, Rainmaker on Humpback. Yeah, I can't lie. I hate Humpback because there's there's only one really good Rainmaker route. The other one's a bit... The other one's like re, really unconventional conventional and basically if you... It's a massive choke point for me. For Rainmaker especially, because maybe on Clam Blitz or Splat Zone you've got a bit more freedom on the map to go, and go forward or go behind, or maybe take the super unconventional left route. But on Rainmaker, it's kind of just, you go right, and so basically all the team need to do is you need to try and just try and defend that one right pick, and, and they should have... And the, they should have a pretty close game 
However, if they if one of them loses control of that right side, then it's just straight to the goal, and they could get a lead that the other team might not be able to overcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think the left side is actually really good because you are you are allowed to make that jump from the left checkpoint toward or uh, onto the enemy plat so any real flanks could be super super deadly but enough speculation let's hop into this game number two evolution going with the wellstring clownfish on the other hand going with a double splatling comp trying to use double the splatling advantage and see, it looks like we have uh, both teams trying to pop the Rainmaker right now. We do have a pick, one of them going one down, and we and that try is trying to get further a bit. However, they are throwing a lot of stuff out. Or could see, could be seeing something happening quite soon. Yeah, it looks like Clownfish should make a push right now. Yeah, they're in prime position to do that, though. Unfortunately, the Rainmaker is going to go down to the Wellstream before the Wellstream goes down. But with Clownfish's comp, if they can play around the Hydra and use its range to its, to their advantage, it could be very, very hard for Evolution to get something going. Soccer going in with the Roller is going to get one, but going to go down almost immediately. And now Clownfish is kind of stuck in this corner. Evolution is holding on to this right checkpoint for dear life. Slow is just stuck in the corner, shooting around the uh, shooting on Snipe. The try to clear them out it's gonna work the strikes though that'll be it and the push managed to stop before he even started with evolution getting a quick wipeout on clownfish yeah and that's exactly what i was talking about earlier they they managed to find the right check and now they're going left like we said however the, the clownfish are going to try and pick up on that they're going to try and not let that happen again the bubble is going to be a bit of a problem for them and the, and the bucket's out of it now and they've got people in their spawn the Rainmaker has been popped, and I think Clownfish are probably just going to try and reset it now. Mm, yeah, Clownfish really has no other choice because the Rainmaker is in a very, very precarious position for both teams. Kind of stuck in that top left corner. Thankfully, it is going to reset, but if you look at mid, a majority of it is going to be an Evolution's color, though. The Splashdown will manage to make it more neutral, so now Clownfish has the opportunity to get even more points and potentially break through that first checkpoint. Yeah, and we see... The Clownfish have the Rainmaker right now. It is a straight and easy path to the checkpoint. However, I don't know because the other team are defending that right check very, very well. As you can see, they only got to 80 last time and it's one point. It's only a quick jump needed to get a lead right now. But I think the question is, are they going to do it? Or are they just, just going to sit there? I mean, so far, so they're going to be kind of forced to sit there. The Rainmaker is going to reset right before Clownfish can grab it. Great job by Evolution to just hold on for dear life. Though so that lead is not secure at all. They're going to have to try to get even more points going. Sakura with a good kill there to try to at least extend their lead. Going for the flank, getting one on the Hydra. Three down for Clownfish. And that is um, going to be a massive advantage, and they're going to take advantage of that and get more points. And and they're now they've now got us a really substantial lead. And Clownfish really needed to do a better job at defending there. But as and um, even and even this triple splashdown, they managed to avoid the triple splashdown, and that lead is going to be hard to break. I mean, yeah, because now if you're Clownfish, you have to go pretty far. You have to basically get past the enemy rail to even think about taking the lead. And so far, with only 90 seconds remaining, they're going to have to get something going. They do have a Booyah Bomb at the ready, but a lot like that first game, they're being staggered for a majority of it. Before they can get their pushes started, they're being picked off randomly in a corner, not allowing them to really get a whole lot going. The Crab from Evolution. Evolution is going to be forced to back away, but Evolution can just hold on here and try to stall out for time. Yeah, and we can see the Bucket getting a double kill, but then gets traded, so that means they're kind of around the same scope. There's two players down on each side, well, not in play yet, and I think we're just, they're just taking a minute for each team to get back into play. Soon enough, uh, you're gonna have to take the Rainmaker and just hide with it in their spawn so that they, so the other team can't manage to get it. Because as, as long as they can stall out the rest of the game, then they've got the set. However, Clownfish have been playing pretty decent this game, and they're 
And I reckon they could make something happen before the game ends. Yeah, they're trying to make something happen though. They're gonna take another very costly trade. This one gonna go two down, two for two on each side. Evolution looking to pop it to cover mid. That's exactly what they're gonna do. But with 30 seconds left, Clownfish is getting a, has to be a little bit paranoid right now because they need to get the scoring started. They need to get something going. They need to be able to get into mid, get a pick or two, and get at least get the Rainmaker uh picked up but so far or that's what they're trying to do but an unfortunate bomb is going to take out the rainmaker why is it going to be picked up clownfish pops it they grab it and now this is their last chance to get points on the board yep and they, they don't manage unfortunately for clownfish that is a 2-0 lead which means the set is now over yeah a very very unfortunate outcome for clownfish it was just they didn't account for the roller just sneaking in and getting the pick when it mattered on the rainmaker their defense their defensive lines were broken through and evolution will take a pretty dominant set win over clownfish and move on yep that was a pretty fun set to watch can't lie because the first game was completely dominated, but the second game was actually kind of close, and I feel like Clownfish could have made something happen if they'd, ma if they'd managed to throw enough, throw enough stuff at the other team and just get the Rainmaker forward. And maybe if they'd got farther and try and use the opportunity, because there was a small, there was a couple of opportunities in Windows there to push forward from that check, and maybe if they just use one of them, it could be 1 1 right now. Yeah, you know what, coulda, woulda, shoulda, that's just what happened, you have to execute in the moment, but that will be it for round number one, we're gonna take a quick break as the rest of the matches finishes and we hop into round two, so stay right there, we'll be right back. 